Now, <clears throat> what's this mess right here? Well, it's my pickup truck. And I'm uh, digging through the little scraps and stuff like that. Seeing what treasures I can have in here. A copper pipe right there. A chunk of aluminum. That can go in the aluminum barrel. Can go on the scraps. There's some copper that just needs to be finished a little bit. And it has value once again. Electric motor. A chunk of brass. It's up to a dollar twenty a pound now. Yes. Well, it's mostly aluminum. A little bit of steel, so I'll put it in the aluminum bucket right here. Along with this car part, it's mostly aluminum. That's pretty much all aluminum. Now these braided lines are really stainless steel. But the one yard, they'll just take, they'll just take it as aluminum. This car part that's all aluminum cast. This can go in the bucket here. This pool part right here, that's, that's basically that's just sheet aluminum. Hammer, but looking for that. It's got rough stains on it, but it's actually aluminum. So that goes in there. Well, this was good, but then I stepped on it. Never used. What are you gonna do, right? This is pretty much all aluminum, so I'll put that in the barrel there. There's a Phillips head screwdriver. Some wire here, I'll throw that out the truck into the wire pile. All kinds of nifty little tidbits and treasures. Another chunk of brass, copper pipe, let's see, thumbnail, alright, basically this is uh, mostly aluminum, so that goes in there. Another nice solid chunk of brass. Thumbnail, <laughs> right? You can scraps. Some more scraps. I've been riding around with all this extra stuff in here, and believe it or not, it seems like it's adding up to about three or four hundred pounds of uh extra weight that's not it's not being scrapped or anything today because it would legitimately take too long to dig through this at the scrapyard because 
they have a new rule. You can't, uh, not allowed, here we'll say, we're not allowed, we won't see if we can. Not allowed to be there for any more than 15 minutes per visit. And you must wear a mask. New rules. Until further notice. I got a aluminum bar here. Put the steel in there. Come on, Kaden, keep going. <laughs> I feel overwhelmed by it. When the truck starts getting all kinds of like knickknacks and stuff like that, I start getting overwhelmed by it. So every now and then I need to clean it up a little bit. And I like to look at the scale with the lower numbers, you know, when you're completely empty. It seems like, you know, with each visit, you go to the yard, I get a little bit of buildup. That's what I call this. You know, this various everythings. Bits and pieces. Rusty steel. Chunks of brass. You name it, it's in here. Tools. That's like some kind of some kind of a tool, I don't know, I've never used one of these, so. I bet you Dana's toolbox would know what that was. Oh, Dano's, Dano's toolbox. That's all brass right here. Oh, there's some more. See? Sometimes you get so frustrated, you just wanna push all of it off at the scrapyard but then you soon realize that the value of this little knickknacks is probably worth more than all the steel piled up in the truck, believe it or not. Yeah, there's another piece of copper. Steel bolt on there. Copper and brass. Could be sold a couple different ways. Oh, okay. Uh, Gills Gills is calling me. Um, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna get in contact with him. I just seen the banner come down on the on the screen here while I'm making the video, so. I'm going to keep going, digging through here until it's all cleared out. You guys can sit back, watch, and laugh at the reality that is me. <laughs>